kick back and catch a vibe. We at home with Lisa, Lisa. Kick back, it's a lifestyle. We at home with Lisa, Lisa. Hello, everyone. Welcome to At Home with Lisa, Lisa. Hi. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So today on At Home with Lisa, Lisa, we're going to be doing a DIY. And it may be over two days, but I'm going to try and let it be one day. But anyway, the DIY is going to be a bench for my mudroom. I'm creating a mudroom. So I just purchased the wood <clears throat> and I got it cut. Um, I'll leave down in the description box what the size of this um, wood is, y'all. It's so heavy, I don't even think I can pick it up. <laughs> but I'll leave the measurements down in the description box but at any rate we measured it according to our space in which we're going to use it for so um i purchased some stain and it is called this is the stain and it is called provincial 21 and it's by um men wax so that's what i'm going to be using to stain it and also too we purchased some legs we purchased two legs here and then I'm gonna be staining them as well too. So y'all know they have to dry. So that's why I said it may be over a course of two days. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm trying to move this stain as close as possible. So I'm gonna start staining you guys. Ooh, it looks so pretty. TK usually paints and stain things. So he's in the house um, putting something else together for me. So since I hadn't stained anything before, I decided to um, do the staining while he's working on something else. We're tag teaming, you guys. And I hope you all enjoy this type of content. I'm excited to see how the mud room is going to actually turn out. I, um, I've seen different styles, but I'm trying to create and come up with my own style, something that I like. And um, why do they call it a mud room when it's not a room by itself? It's just like when we walk in from the garage, this big wall right here is going to be our mud room. So basically mine's gonna be a mud wall, y'all. <laughs> I haven't seen too many people who just really just had a mud room. It was just a space in the entryway, you know, or a space coming in through your garage, you know, or just a space that, you know, they created themselves. So we're creating a mud space is what we're doing. And we already purchased the shelf um, that we're going to use as well too. Now I did um, get the wood cut at the store and we purchased everything from Lowe's. Home Depot was closer to us, but I like going to Lowe's because I feel like um, Lowe's has more to offer. Um, they have a variety of things in there, so I prefer going to Lowe's. It was a little ways out, but it's okay. Um, I have to get what I like and what I want, y'all. And the whole piece of wood that we purchased it was like $89, and um, like I said, they cut it for us, which I was grateful for that. So I'm happy you all are tuned in today to check out this DIY. So I'm in the garage. I'm glad that it's not so hot out here. We got a little bit of wind blowing here. So that's helping me to stay cool, you guys. I think this is a little bit darker than what my shelf is, but it is okay because I'm gonna make it blend and I'm gonna make it work out, okay? I'm gonna make it work.
If you all have created any DIY projects such as, you know, a mud room space, or if you've built a bench or something like that, leave it down in the comment section and let me know. I would love to know if you guys have or not. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my heights Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling. Okay, you guys, so I have all four sides completed and I have the top completed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry and then I will flip it over so I can stain the other side. So you guys stay tuned, okay? So you guys, while I'm waiting on that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and um, stain my legs here. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. I'm not sure if I want to put a second coat on that or not, <clears throat> but we'll see what it looks like when it completely dries. I have a little pan to put this stain in, but I'm okay with just keeping my brush in there. I'm cool with that. Cause TK stirred it really, really well. You can say I lost my mind. All right, you guys. I'm gonna turn the music back on and you guys enjoy. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down the sky is falling down Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system, my favorite thing. This you could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be a one of the things I All right, you guys, the two legs are done. So I'm going to let them dry. And also, too, I did not paint the very bottom here, and I didn't paint the top there because it's going to be um, connected to the actual bench, so you can't see it anyway, so I'm not going to waste the stain on that, okay? All right, you all, hopefully in about another 10, 15 more minutes, I'm going to flip this over and then um, stain this side of it, okay? So thank you all so, so much. <clears throat> so thank you guys so, so much for tuning in and being patient, and I'm going to be back to stain the other side. All right, you guys, I'm back. So let's get this side done. I'm going to time lapse this and speed it up so I won't hold you guys too long. And then we'll go on to part two. My legs are good. They are dry. 
and I'm liking the finish. I did not have to put a second coat on them. This is some powerful stain. But I may sand it a little bit just to give it the uh, rustic kind of look. Distressed kind of look. So yeah. So alright y'all. I hope y'all got y'all popcorn and something to drink. Because I don't want y'all to be thirsty and hungry while y'all watching this. Alright y'all. Enjoy the music. Alright you guys, that was quick. That was quicker than the first time. But um, I'm going to let this dry and then we'll move on to, I'm trying to decide if we're going to paint the wall. Because right now that wall space is like a, um, it's like a, hmm, it's like a gray, a very light gray. And um, I was thinking about painting it black, painting the wall black, but I don't want it to clash with this wood. So I may keep it the way that it is. I'm not sure, I gotta play around with it first, okay? All right, y'all, stay tuned. All right, ladybugs, this is day two of trying to do this mud wall. So instead of just painting it one solid color, we decided to do like a design as you can see everything is taped off so we're going to get into painting it because everything else that we stain is all good and dry and like i said this is day two guys all right you guys this is what i have so far i still got all that to do y'all i am not a painter of walls I will be the first one to admit, but I'm getting there, y'all. I just want to check back in and let y'all see what your girl is doing. Y'all look, the wall is done. Mr. Smith, of course, came to the rescue. So we're gonna see if we need to add another coat of paint. I don't know, but we shall see. But thank you all so, so much for tuning in. We appreciate all of your time that you give to us. But yeah, we're going to let it dry. And we'll see on tomorrow because I want it to fully, fully dry. Dry as much as it possibly can. And um, to see if we need to put a second coat on there, okay? So y'all hang tight. So as you all can see, I was not a fan of the black paint with the design. So we went to Lowe's and we got some wallpaper by Jonathan and Drew. I love the wallpaper. It looks so natural. It looks like a clean line and I think this was the best decision. I had told y'all earlier I was not a fan of painting walls and it just I slept on it and it just did not sit right with me. So anyway, this is the wallpaper. I'm loving it so far, y'all. you all I am loving the bench there and I am loving the wall paper it is a clean line and look at the shelf up there you all it looks gorgeous and you all the wallpaper is the stick and peel so it really wasn't difficult to put it on the only place where we really struggled was where trying to meet 
the lines when we had to cut it so that was the only struggle but as far as you know putting it on the sticking peel it worked you all it worked so i am happy right now bugs it is reveal time we are done with this project i am over this project but i am so in love with our diy mudroom wall i love it you guys take a peek at this beauty life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Now let's talk about how we pulled all this together. So of course you see that beautiful bench there that I stained and I have two baskets below that I got from Target and the pillow. I just thought it was nice for, you know, aesthetic purposes. But those baskets, they are gorgeous. I love them. I love everything baskets, you all. And the stain turned out so so well on the bench and the legs it's gorgeous it's gorgeous i love it you all i love the space and the pillow i just got from um some extras that i had and let's get into this wallpaper it's perfect for the space it goes with the farmhouse theme and i just decided to add just a little bit of a touch by adding the garland up there and as you can see the garland is made of burlap ribbon I have some white white lace on there as well as some plain white ribbon and it's on the burlap string that garland is beautiful you all and I purchased that from Hobby Lobby probably like a couple of years ago so in with this project this DIY project I used a lot of things that I already had now this shelf I purchased from home goods and it was a lighter color so I did go in and try to stain it a bit uh, a bit to match the bench and these cute little baskets here are by hearth and hand that's um Joanna Gaines and they those came from Target and I probably had those for several months as well too so yeah hearth and hand by Joanna and Chip Gaines they have a nice line in Target their decor and kitchen decor is awesome in there. And at the top, I just got some old pieces that I had. You know, the white container that I have, I just added some greenery in there. Y'all know I love my greenery. 
and as you can see the mud room is complete thank you all so so much for tuning in we thank you all and until next time bye bye Kick back and catch a vibe. We at home with Lisa, Lisa. Kick back, it's a lifestyle. We at home.